the current the current i in an ac circuit is given by the equation i is equals to 30 sine 105 t where t is in seconds deduce the following from this equation number one frequency of the current peak value of the current and the root mean square of the current to find the frequency of the current the first thing we need to do is to uh, deduct is to deduct our data and to do that we will now say that since we have this equation i is equals to 30 sine 100 100 5 t we will now equate it with i naught is equals to we will now say sorry i is equals to i naught sine 2 phi f t so this is what we have we are now equating i equals to time uh, 30 sine 100 phi t as i equals to i naught sine 2 phi f t this 30 corresponds with i naught and if we do that if to find the frequency we'll now say that this uh, 100 phi t this 100 phi t corresponds with 2 phi 2 phi f t corresponds with 2 phi f t so 100 phi t corresponds with 2 phi f t 30 corresponds with i naught so now to solve question one we'll now say that the frequency is equal to 100 phi t is equal to now we have 2 phi f t we'll now write 2 phi f t pi will cancel phi t will cancel t and we'll be left with we'll be left with 100 is equals to this is 100 is equals to we have 2 here 2 f and dividing both sides by 2 we will now have this will cancel this 2 into 2 1 2 into 100 is 50 therefore our frequency f is equals to 50 hertz let's go to equation 2 to question 2 sorry find the feed value find the peak value of the current to find the peak value of the current we will now say that i here i not here is the peak value i corresponds to 30 therefore i not which is the peak value is equal to 30 therefore we will now use the unit of i I not which is in amperes, therefore 30 amperes. The third question, find the root mean square of the current. Three. To find the root mean square of the current, the first thing we need to do is to remember that I root mean square is equal to I not, which is the fit current all over root two. And this is going to give us i not here is 30 therefore we have 30 over root 2 
Now, if we use sort form, we'll now have 30 over root 2 times root 2 over root 2. The reason why I said 2 over root 2, remember that 1 over 1 is equals to 1. 2 over 1 is equals to 2. And 2 over 2 is equals to 1. Therefore, if I say root 2 over root 2, it's also the same thing as equals to 1. And if I now say x times root 2 over root 2, is the same thing as x times 1. And this is the same thing as x. Therefore, we are now applying the same method here. This is the same thing as. Now, if we multiply here, we are now going to have 30 root 2, 30 by root 2, and root 2 by root 2 will give us root 4. And this is the same thing as 30 root 2 all over square root of 4 is going to give us 2. And 2 into 2, 1, 2 into 30 will give us 15. And this is going to be 15 root 2. Therefore, we have our i root mean square. i root mean square is equal to 15 root 2 ampere. Remember that ampere is the unit of current. But in this case, we can now still further say, okay, what is root 2? If we change it into, we can now still write it as I root mean square is equal to 21.5. Is equal to 21.21 ampere ampere and this is the final answer